first, my first uh, expertise, so to speak, was history of modern philosophy. And I came to phenomenology because of that. Because if you study uh, early modern philosophy up to Hegel, you discover that philosophy became, at that moment, uh, something special, which can be uh, named uh, metaphysics. That is a systematic view of philosophy, where uh, everything is known, I would say, to oversimplify, uh, top down. That is, you have principles. From those principles, you can deduce some derivative truths and try to apply them on different fields. So mostly you deduce and you classify, starting with the same set of concepts and using those concepts by combinations, uh, adaptations, complications, to uh, be close as possible to the concrete things. So it is an a priori philosophy. That's why it end up, with Hegel and others, into building systems. This great endeavor did not fail. It partly uh, uh, won. And a part of the experience can be explained that way. That is everything which can become an object. It's why sciences come from metaphysics. Metaphysics was a theory of how to build up objects. And uh, uh, sciences have used this set of concepts to uh, rule their own, uh, each of them, their own uh, field. So we can know, constitute, produce, reproduce objects that way. But the fact was that, uh, and this is a crisis of 19th century, I refer to, uh, that there are fields which cannot be understood by a deductive system. And uh, very soon the question was, should we not start uh, from uh, down up? It is not a question of empiricity, empiricism. Empiricism can be metaphysical and systematic as well, because empiricism uh, uh, is not that uh, empiricist. Because in empiricism you always uh, presuppose that your own mind uh, will stay before and to some extent outside of uh, the experience. We get everything through experience, through senses, etc. But the mind of uh, the scientist, which is supposed to uh, stay in a position of uh, uh, organizing, ruling, judging, the scientist, as you say. So uh, uh, empirical sciences are not uh, are only us uh, empirical. The real question is whether even the self, the knowing self, can be experienced a posteriori. That is, in fact, we experience that I myself, the real self, not the transcendental I, is uh, uh, a product of my own experience. So, uh, this idea to start uh, from the things themselves and to try to, coming from that, to reach uh, their rational reality, that was the project of phenomenology. And uh, to sum it up, metaphysics is based on the distinction made by Kant between what we know, that is a phenomenon, and what we don't know, which is the ding and zish, the thing in itself. And the goal of phenomenology is to identify what appears, the phenomenon, with the thing in itself.